We have a huge update with the Wilbur Sue allegations. Shubble responded and his Discord server got closed. Let's get right into it. Okay, so if you guys aren't aware of the Wilbur Sue allegations, basically he was getting accused of being abusive and, you know, biting his girlfriend and having a weird fetish with that. Well, he dropped a pretty half-ass apology and people were not happy about that at all. And then just last week, he basically responded uh, finally after months of not saying anything. And this is what he had to say. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm back from my break. Uh, I just want to make this quick video to briefly talk about what the four of us at Lovejoy have planned for the rest of this year. Um, but first, uh, I wanted to mention some stuff was said about me on the internet a couple of months ago. Uh, and if you haven't already seen, I responded back in February. Uh, that response is all I want to say on the matter for now. Uh, and yeah, I'd much rather talk about what the plan is for us going forward. Uh, so going into summer, we're going to be doing a tour of Australia. So if you live in Australia and you want to see Lovejoy play live, we really hope to see you there. And yeah, people are beyond pissed that this guy is going on a tour in Australia, you know, regardless of what happened. And the fact that he just kind of brushed everything was like, we're going to talk about it later. I don't know if that means he has, you know, more to this that we don't know or things to debunk what's happened or what. But it's still been pretty weird how he's been moving. Well, either way, Shubble, his ex-girlfriend Shelby, responded and we are going to react to that. All right, let's check this out, y'all. It is manipulation. That was manipulative right in front of your face. Um, so if you want to believe he's changed, that's who he is. That was the last thing he did, and then he doubled down on that fuck-ass apology. So that's who he is. Tried to manipulate you, and is really still hoping that it works out so that he can carry on and not change. Because Ooh. the truth is, he has not been in consistent therapy. His friends know that. He admitted openly to them that he had to start seeing a new therapist because he lied too much to his first one. And they are accepting of that. That is okay. They want him back to work. They don't think that it's important to insist he do any significant amount of therapy first. Hell, a year at minimum? Um, it isn't important for them to stay in his life for him to change at this point. That's very clear. And I don't think that's a friend. I don't think those are friends. I think that's using him. And I think that's how I feel about it. That's how it looks for me. Um, if you're going to insist on keeping somebody that's done such horrible things in your life and be around them and support them, at least your job is to insist that you are seeing them be better. You are seeing actions that are showing they're better. He is making the same excuse as before. He is doubling Ooh, down. On his she's manipulation. right, Loki, guys. That's who he is. And that's okay with some people. I will never forgive him. I do not have to. It doesn't matter if he changes or not. I will never have to. Not only that, I have not been apologized to for it. So I would have to have been acknowledged. And I wasn't. Wow. I mean, just, you know, seeing that right there, hearing what she's got to say, if that is true, I mean, that's terrible, you know? I mean, if this dude has to get a new therapist and his friends are advocating for him to come back, regardless of what happens, that's bad people, you know? that The people that you're around is everything, man. Like, if you surround yourself around good people, good things are going to happen. Good things are going to come. You're going to be a better person. You're going to grow from it. They're going to hold you accountable if they're real friends. And, you know, if all of this is true and they're just like, oh, it's okay, Wilbur, you can just come back to doing content like nothing happened. That's just not cool. You know, the part about her having to forgive him, she doesn't have to forgive him. She doesn't, you know, um, that's based off of her. Well, that now can that change? You know, would that have changed if he reacted differently? Like just say all of this ends up to be true and he is in the wrong. Yes. You know, the way he handled everything was terrible versus, you know, him taking accountability, trying to change, trying to be a good person. Um, if all of this is true now, there's a chance that, you know, maybe he is innocent and maybe that she's just tripping or she's in the wrong. But I don't know, guys, the way he's been moving, the way he's been acting just doesn't seem right. Um, all these people are commenting. I hate those Wilbur supporters because they insisted their favorite YouTuber was a good man after multiple people came forward about his abuse and manipulation was proof like girls stopped trying to defend someone who clearly admitted to biting and didn't stop when she used boundaries he set for her because if you still support him that says a lot about you and you know a lot of people don't like shelby i mean there's a decent amount not i'm not gonna say a lot but there was a decent amount that doesn't like her people are claiming that she's changed her story um and it was about love boy love joy so she shouldn't have said anything yeah people are saying brian dead i mean yeah i i don't think she's changed her story you know like if you compare this situation to katie bugs very different you know the way she's responded hasn't been like super dramatic she's you know had a few statements about things and she's you know went off when she does but i haven't seen her really change her story and then on top of that if we compare george to wilbur george you know dropped a video explaining things defending things very instantly um wilbur has taken a lot more time now i know you can compare it to dream where dream you know took a lot more time on his response 
but Dream didn't just, you know, go out and about and say, hey, guys, we're going to just start going back to the uh, streaming. We're going to start going back to a concert. Like, no, he didn't just announce things like that and just brush it off. So I do think that Wilbur's, you know, looking like he's in the wrong right now, guys, uh, the way things are leaning. Obviously, I want to give things more time to see if he has anything to say, but things are not looking too great for him. And on top of all that, official statement regarding the permanent closure of the Wilbur Suit Discord server. So check this out, guys. Basically, they, de uh, you know, they've taken down his Discord server. Um, they're closing it. And you yeah, look, first and foremost, we want to apologize for the lack of of communication about the closure of the server and the situation at hand. The last announcement made was underwhelming at best and frustrating at worst. We found out the information about Wilbur at the same time you guys did and frankly were hurt with the weight of all of it. The purpose of closing the server in the way that we did was to prevent the channels from becoming a mess of misinformation and hurtful, unsavory comments. Overall, we as a team have been struggling to make peace with the information that's come to light and are shocked, disappointed, angry, and sad to learn that all the years of love and the stressful uh, sleepless nights we poured into the server were dedicated to the wrong person. Um, if you're not aware, you know, they explain what happens and they said they fully stand with Shelby and Alice as well as the multiple others who have backed up their claims of abuse. These women are strong individuals and we commend them for speaking up. So, yeah, guys, they, um, you know, support them a lot. They're like totally in disagreement of uh, Wilbur. It looks like his whole server just flipped on him. Uh, all the fans are so hyped about this. They're just like, oh, we're so proud of you guys. And yeah, man, you know, that's really it. You guys can read these if you want. We're not going to read the rest of that. Shout out to the entire ex Wilbur Suit staff team. And look at this loser right here. So yeah, this just, this just barely came out, by the way. So um, the fact that his staff team is against him says a lot. And I don't know, maybe they're jumping the gun. I really don't think they are in this situation, but... Yeah, guys, that's uh, that's looking like a wrap for Wilbur. So that's the updates we have so far on the situation, guys. Nothing else. Uh, I'll update you guys as much as I can with anything moving forward. If Wilbur has anything to say, if Wilbur decides to come back some for some reason. But as of right now, you know, a lot of people are agreeing with Shovel. Uh, it seemed like before it wasn't as many, but people are definitely being a little more open minded now. And I like that. They're trying to look at the facts and the behaviors of people and the way they react in these dramas. And like I said, when you compare George to Wilbur, it's a night and day difference of the, how they've you know responded. And I know everyone is different, but things are just not looking great for Wilbur's suit. Let me know how you guys feel about this down below. His Discord server getting the act or getting, you know dropping and like seeing his staff team 180 on him is pretty interesting. But that's really it, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and like what we say, Empire out.